July 29th, 1958, President Dwight David Eisenhower signs a bill creating the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known to us as NASA. When we were the Discovery Museum and attached to the Science Space Center, we uh, did a, a cut for them of a liquid propulsion rocket engine. It's mounted, rather than vertically, it's mounted horizontally on a travel fixture, which allowed them to move it around. And some of you who follow this channel may remember that I have said that in my working life, I worked at Aerojet General. This was a liquid propellant engine. I worked in what was called the solids propellant. But we had a lot of cross information. But this was one of the ones that Aerojet was very proud of and is still, I believe, functional today.